family no they can play oh. no, they Waiting play. I want to oh. no, be waiting you want to no, no, no. Oh. It's my family no they can play oh. Family, no, they can play. Oh. Say, no order. The father, like, no order. One in a million, so lovely and caring. His family is number one. What a caring and lovely father. Very unique. Whoa. He carries everybody along. Oh. Wife and children. Bro, come <laughs> on, you miss. Hello. Mm. You need to see the dignitaries that attended Nonso's daughter's naming ceremony. Ah, you would have gotten yourself some contact. I'm telling you, I know definitely he will not be happy that he did not attend. It's unfortunate. I actually planned on coming, but um, one of my girls was marking her birthday yesterday, and I already promised her a special outing. My wife and I took the girls out for shopping, um, sightseeing, and also went to the cinema. I never knew it was going to take the whole day. Meanwhile, I, I came for his Thanksgiving mass, so I'm sure it covers for all. You and your daughter, self. I'm talking of making business contact. You're talking of um, attending Thanksgiving mass. Do you make business contact in church? Well, that's in the past now. Yes, it's past already. Besides, I think family duties matters most at this point you know i don't toy with them i'm not justifying the fact that you shouldn't attend to your family i am saying just strike a balance between business timing and business contact with family that's all i'm saying <laughs> my brother you need to be married first before you can tutor me on how to devote my time to family and business all right mm. committed bachelor of the federal republic <laughs> Uh, you don't see me finish now. No, but on the more serious note, you need to get married. All right? Just leave all this more small girls. Are you not tired of postponing your plans with Ijoma? Guy, calm down. Be coming down. Not that I won't get married, but I'm waiting for the right time. Hmm? For now, I have some business uh, projects to attend before I get married. It's all right. I have to get home now because I need to take my daughters to school. Before I go to work, my wife's car is um, faulty. Mm -hmm. It's all right, man. I'll see you when I see you. No problems. <laughs> it is what it is. Charles, eh? Later then. Good day, Mama. Mama, is everything all right? Mama, why are you sounding like this now? What is it? And you can't tell me this thing over the phone. Mama, today is out of the question, all right? I can't come today. I have a lot to do today, Mama. Please, maybe tomorrow, okay? <sighs> Grandmother. Pin in the ass. Inside, everybody. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. You are too lucky to have a man like Donald. It's been 10 years that you both got married. And the love is still working so strong. Donald is a true definition of a real man. Not Chema that will be filled with marriage promises since the Fourth Republic. And he's here to make a serious move. <laughs> 
you were, you and this your mouth. You can never change. Well, I understand your fears. And I also know that Chima's intentions towards you are pure. Yeah, my husband reliably informed me that he's bent on um, sorting out some of his relatives so that when you both settle down, he doesn't need to be distracted or have any interference from anyone. So, girl, if you ask me, I'd say relax. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Just just take a look at me now. Hmm? How long will I keep waiting? I'm not getting any younger. I know, and I just said relax. It's all about time. Okay? Mm -hmm. I know Chima. He will tie the knot. My husband has really been mounting pressure on him to do the needful. Okay. If he says so, <laughs> talking about family interference, I hope your mother-in-law is no longer pestering you on the issue of wanting to have a male child. Mm. <laughs> My dear. She's no longer disturbing or putting pressure on us, so. I thank God, you know, but I really don't know why she isn't. Do you know that my mother-in-law blatantly told me to my face that she wants a male grandchild so that I do not lavish donors' wealth when my girls are all grown and married? Serious. <laughs> I wonder how this mother-in-law is raising her times. Anyways, I trust Donald. He will not give in to her antics. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I will advise you both adopt a male child if this thing persists. Her silence could mean war. You have a point there. How come I never thought of it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm still praying and believing God to give me a, a son, you know, so that way my girls can have a younger brother. Plus, I also want to have a son for my husband. It's okay. I think you have to share the idea with him. And see what he has to say about it. Sure. Yeah, Donald. I am not just talking to you. I I'm still talking to you and you're working out on Mama, me. Mama, I have had enough of you trying to interfere with my family affairs. All right? You're beginning to cross the line, and I do not like it. Do not, if you don't like it, community transformer is over there. You go and hug it. Eh? I am your mother, and I know what is good for you. Give your consideration to what I'm saying, and you still resist with me. Mama, there's nothing to consider. Okay? I love my wife. And there's nothing you or any of our family members can do to interfere with my marriage. We're living happily with our lovely daughters, and that's all that matters to me. Just look at your mouth. You are living happily with our lovely daughters, and that's all, all that matters to me. Eh? Donald, what is even wrong with you? Consider taking a second wife in Anuya. That will be over my dead body, Mama. Over my dead body. It's Stella and I until that duo's part. I will never in this life take another wife. No this and no this. Donald, you are only joking. By the time I, 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 I finalize with this thing, I'm planning, eh? Okay, me, we not start to go to. Okay, no problem. No, 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 no. Uncle, were you part of the whole arrangement or not? <coughs> I need to know. Um, Donald, as your uncle, um, I think you should um, give reasons to what your mother has told you because she came here and reported the matter to me. Uncle, how could you? Why would you do this to me? <clears throat> I have told you countless times that I'm happily married to Stella. And there is nothing anyone can do to come between us. Mm. I will be going back to the city. And I want you to abort every plan you have with my mother to get me a second wife. Because it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, Donald, I suggest that you have a rethink. Uncle, there's absolutely nothing to have a rethink about. I have a sane mind. And I have the ability to discern between right and wrong. <laughs> mm. 
I'll have to take my leave now because I didn't plan to sleep over. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to take my leave now. Hold on, hold on. To... hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, <clears throat> well, um, you know, I was actually about to call you before you came. All right. Um, my snuff okay. is finished. And uh, uh -huh. you remember that that um, she goat, that very fat one that you used to admire when you, you know, he just died suddenly of his strange sickness. <clears throat> And um, um, you know this is a planting season now, and uh, and I took some people to my farm. Uh, as it is now, I've not been able to pay them. Uncle, how much do you need? <laughs> Odogu, Odogu. Ah. Um, you know I don't want to bother you much. How uh, much do you need? Uh, okay, um, like fifty thousand. Fifty thousand will be okay. Fifty. <laughs> uh, Put your account. Okay, my account. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it runs very fast when money is sent inside it. You see, it runs very fast. You know. <laughs> Done. Okay. I just sent you 200,000. 200,000? Yes. Oh, no good. I'll see you when I come back. Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll come back. <laughs> 200,000. 200,000. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Greet them, oh. Greet them. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Kids won't let me rest. They insist that I narrate them a story before they go to bed. Mm. That's great. <laughs> Are you alright? Besides, I thought you should be asleep by now. Why are you still up? I'm fine. Okay. I'm okay. Uh, so. How was your trip? Well, my trip was hit free. Hmm? That was. Babe, I, I'd like to ask you for a favor. <sighs> Darling, you know I'll do anything for you. Whatever it is, say it. Um. Can we adopt a male child? What? Why would you say a thing like that? Wait a minute. Did Mama call you? Did anyone call you to tell you anything from the village? No, no, not exactly. It's just that you and I know what I have been through with Mama in the past years. Fair enough, she stopped mounting pressure on me, alright? But. Sooner or later, she's still going to resurface with her demands. Babe, you and the girls are God's greatest gift to me. I can never ask for anything better. I love the girls without any reservation in my heart. Besides, they're all very smart and promising. Why bother God with what's perfect already? If this is God's will for us, who am I? I love you all. And that's what matters to me. Alright? So forget about Mama. She did not marry you. I did. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I love you so much. I love you more, my darling. Come here. Darling. Oh. Sleep already. Mm -hmm. 
Mama is fast getting on my nerves. My marriage is barely 10 years, and I wonder why she's so impatient with that quest. Her selfish quest for grandson. I'm sick and tired of her bugging me every now and then to pick a second wife. I don't know why she despises Stella so much. On the contrary, your mom. I don't think your mom despised your wife. Mm. These are issues that are peculiar in this part of the world. Especially when their sons are doing well. Wealthy. Come on. You're wealthy. You're comfortable. All your mother needs to ensure is that your bloodline still flows, even when you're not there anymore. So I don't really... I don't really blame her. So what now? Are you supporting her? No. Come on. Guy, you know I can't do that, bro. Look, listen, you're married to a beautiful angel, a peace homemaker at that. And consider the bond you have with your daughters. Come on, you definitely know that bringing another wife will disturb the peace you're enjoying right now. So think about it. Well, the truth is, this issue about not having a male child also bothers me. My wife even suggested we adopt a male child from the motherless babies. But I don't want to consider that option because my hands will be tied. How do you mean? Let's just forget about this and talk about something else. Um, what about um, Ijoma? What of any new development? Nothing could do Very sweet. Hope you no longer sell them. Then 
no longer sell what? I sell my oranges, no. Why would, I, why would I not sell them? Yeah? You know, I don't live much of orange because of my other attack. So I usually sell them to one girl in the market for her to resell. Mama, hmm? having enough for you, give it out for free. I mean, we have a full lot of plantain and cassava in our farmland for you to sell for commercial use. Hmm. Imagine, Hannah. Hmm? Oh, you want me to give out my oranges free? Don't you know that things are very tough these days? Yeah? <laughs> I don't blame you. It's because your brother usually sends money to you every now and then. That's why you're not complaining. Mama, you have money all the time. You always complaining about money. Huh? That's by the way. Bro, Donald asked me to come to the city so that he will help me get a decent job after my service. But you know what? I told him I have to come over to see my sweet mother before coming over. <laughs> hey, thank God, you. Mm -hmm. I am happy that your brother still remembers you. Eh? No, you have to do everything you're doing and quickly go to the city before his wife will make him change his mind. Mm -hmm. Which is you hold against Stella? Countless times she called me during my service here to know how I'm doing. Please leave her. She's a nice person. Mm -hmm. My brother is in a safe hand. Oh dear. You know we're being on the floor. Anyway, I don't hold anything against her. All I'm trying to do is to make sure that my son and his wealth is protected from potential danger. Oh, but what? Nothing more. My brother cannot be in danger. We can stay in me, I can't wait to go to the city to get a profitable job, bro. <laughs> and a profitable husband. <laughs> <laughs> I would have not killed me. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. I saw Angela yesterday at the market. She told me she just completed her youth service. Now, wow, Angela is not a big girl. Mm -hmm. We thank God, though. <laughs> I hope you are hearing from my son in law and the wife. Give there, Juju Biang. Eh? Am I not supposed to be the one asking you that question? Why are you pretending as if you have not been communicating with your daughter? All I mean is not like that. Just that my phone got faulty since four days ago. And the phone repairer told me that he's here to go to the market to replace the faulty part for me. That is why I couldn't communicate with anybody. Not that I cannot communicate with them. Yeah, that's yes. the word, I believe they are fine. Mm. Anyway, my regards to them. Let me be on my way. That's the word, bye bye. bye, bye. Can you imagine? Yeah? Can you imagine? I, I hope you are hearing from my, my son-in-law and the wife. Nonsense. Pretending as if uh, uh, you and, and your daughter eh, are not out there to, to squander my son's money after you must have killed him. There is no problem. <laughs> I'm out for two of you. I know how to handle two of you. Yeah, I will. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Baby, what's up? I'm fine. It's just that you startled me. <sighs> mm. Are you sure you're fine? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, well, well, I was actually on the phone with my head office in Lagos. Okay. They called to inform me that I've been shortlisted as I'm one of the speakers in our annual general meeting to hold in Lagos two days from now. I don't know. <clears throat> two days from now? Yeah, two days from now. Uh, but why is it so sudden? 
what's going to happen to our wedding anniversary, which is to hold five days from now, and we've already planned it. Oh, oh, I don't oh. like this. I don't like it. Why would it just pop up like this now? Eh? We will we'll just mess up the entire plan. Hey, come. Come, darling. Don't worry. I promise you I will be back before you know it. All right? Latest on that, um, on that day, I'll be back in the morning. I will not miss our 10th wedding anniversary for anything in this world. Okay? You promise? Have I ever failed in my words? Hmm? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Where are you taking me to? You know already. I don't trust you. Where are you taking me to? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's your boy and my sister. I am telling you that my son is gradually neglecting me more and more as the day passes by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I don't agree to that. Do you know that the 50,000 naira monthly allowance he usually sent to me? That that of last month, I have to call him on phone before he now sends the money. Eh? If I didn't call him, he wouldn't have sent that one. Are you sure that Azuka and her daughter are not up to something? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. You are being agitated for nothing. I had already told you that we have everything under control. Eh? Stop being agitated for no reason at all. Are you sure everything is under everything control? Everything is under control. Calm down. Be coming down. Uh -huh. Good evening, how are you today? Mama, mm -hmm. I want to go to Auntie Azuka's house so that I'll pick the food item I'll give to Auntie Stella tomorrow okay. when I go in state. Okay. Yes, Mama. Okay. Thank God that the Chiyo Koyenta is here. Yes. I want to say this thing before you now. Biko, help me tell this my daughter. Now that she's about to go to the city to stay with the brother's wife, let her open her eyes so very wide. Let her shine her eyes. She will go there and begin to do housemaid job. I know her very well. It's my daughter. Oh, what a sense at all. Oh, where are all these talk coming from? Where are all these talk coming from? This is it. Don't you know how I suffer to raise you and your brother? You know where are all these talk coming from? You better shine your eyes so don't go there and become a, 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 a foolish girl. And now that you are going to Azoka's house, also if you get there, tell her everything we have been discussing. Oh, stop now. No more makeup. Okay, thank you. Okay, my dear. Eh, I don't see no mama. Take care of yourself. Mama, please take care of yourself. Uh -huh. ah. Take care of yourself. She has said it. Ah, my daughter has saved Jordan. You see this, my daughter. Hey. If one one, <laughs> she had three more. No, your daughter is beautiful. You're a beautiful girl. Only you're gonna have a man. I need money, not beauty. Yeah. Beauty, you do believe me. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you break this equation? It's very dangerous. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Wow. That's good. What about this one? <laughs> hey. Six. Um, darling, it's time for a break. All right? Mommy and I need to talk. But Dad, you promised to teach me neurons on the episode. I haven't given me the debate point you promised me. Don't worry, my love. As soon as you wake up. I pay for all I owe you. All right? Okay, thank now go join the sisters. <sighs> smart girl. Very smart. So, to what do I owe this? <laughs> Someone. All right, baby. I'm here to discuss about my proposed business. You promised to facilitate it four months back and you stopped saying anything. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired of sitting down in the house and doing nothing. 
I mean, I should be able to support our home. Yeah. You know? I don't necessarily need to run to you for every kobo, every dime, whenever I need any little thing. You're right, my love. But I want to assure you that I've not forgotten or ruled out the idea of starting up your own business. Hmm? I don't like the fact that you're oldest in the house. So on that note, as soon as I get back, we'll look into this. Hmm? Baby! Oh, thank you! Mm. <laughs> and yes, um, Angela should be here tomorrow. At least she will um, keep you and the kids company and also help with the house chores. Mm. All right? I'm also planning to send out our CVs to some people I know. So at least she can start up as um, a graduate. Oh, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see her, you know. I know. Plus, it doesn't rule out the fact that I don't want to keep staying in this house. And I'm going to miss you so much. So I miss you too, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here. I love you. I love you more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, baby. Stop. You asked for it. <laughs> oh, baby. No, no, no. Let's go inside. Put the entire luggage in the car. Thank you very much, my love. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad, don't stay away for too long. I want my love. Dad, buy plenty toys for me when coming back. <laughs> I'll definitely buy toys for all of you. Now, I want you all to make sure you be in your best behaviors. Respect your mommy at all times and do exactly what she asks you to do. All right? Don't worry, but back before you know it, three days is around the corner. Hmm? Hey. Yes, darling. Have a safe trip. I will. Are you alright? Just a slight headache, but I'll take care of it. Please do. Okay? <laughs> Come here. Mm. <laughs> take care. Okay. Alright, everyone. Come see Daddy off. Yeah, Come see yeah. Daddy off. Let's go. Let's go to the car. And my son in law. <laughs> they are fine, Mama. Very mm -hmm. fine. Donald actually traveled to Lagos, but she'll be back this Sunday so we can um, celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary. Mm, <laughs> that's a nice one. Chai, my son in law is a noble, gentle man. You can say that again. He reminds me of your father. Right? So meek and gentle. <laughs> Mama, you can't say that over and over again. Honestly, I'm just fascinated and excited at the way he loves me and our girls. I'm grateful to God for giving me such a loving and caring man as a husband. Thank God. Well, I'll be meaning to ask, um, uh, have you started up something doing? As in a business or any white collar job, at least. Mm, not quite. But Donald promised that he will fix up something for me as soon as he returns from this Lagos trip. My daughter, you need to start up something doing on your own. Aside the fact that I sponsored you through your university education, which saw you graduate with a first class degree in accounting. But I still feel the need for you to be financially independent, considering the world we live in today. Besides, you and I know that your mother-in-law always perceived you as an opportunist, as a result of you not being able to give him a male child. So my daughter, you have to hold the bull by the horn, no matter how it is. All right, thank you, Mama. I will look into that. 
I wouldn't want you to repeat the mistakes I made in my own time. I can recall how I suffered to train you when your father was no more. Although, I'm not saying that your husband is going to die. God forbid. But I owe it an obligation to tell you the truth as a mother. Mom. Thank you once again, Mama. I've heard everything that you have said. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I missed you, people. <laughs> One of these days, I will pay you a visit. No Surprise problem. visit. Okay, even the children miss mm -hmm. you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. I'll be on my way now. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Bye bye, bye. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Excited, like super excited. Chima has promised to finance my hairdressing salon business. No, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I know, right? <laughs> Are you excited? Mm, yeah, <laughs> wait, I'm not seeing it from my own view. He's using it as a ploy to distract you from mounting pressure on him about the marriage. Mm. Eh? You guys have dated for straight six years. Oh, wow. Relationship don't turn university course. Jessica, why would you say that? Chima loves and cares for her a whole lot. I know all he needs is just time. And I have seen my husband persuade him, talk to him severally to tie the knot. He just needs to fix one or two things there and he will finally propose to our friend. Mm, allow her. Allow her to say whatever she likes. <laughs> but let me tell you one thing. I had rather wait for a lifetime to have my own, I mean my own man, than to serve as a backup wife to one man there in UK flexing with one white woman. Okay, really. But let me remind you, Kenneth's marriage to the white lady is on contract. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. once he gets his mm -hmm. resident permit, mm -hmm. he will annul the marriage, process my paper, and I'll say bye bye to Nigeria and you. Why are you guys keep mm. doing this now? I mean, you two always have a way of being on each other's necks right from school days. What's all this now? Please, back to why I called this meeting. I want us to um, start preparing for my wedding anniversary party, oh, which yeah. is coming up in two days time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband has reiterated that he doesn't want a loud party, just something really small, indoors, mm -hmm. with few uh, close mm -hmm. friends. Mm -hmm. So the reason I called you two here is because I'll need you for running around and preparations. Mm -hmm. Even though I have my sister-in-law around, I know it would also help too, mm -hmm. you know. You have us, girl, anytime, anything for you. Are we doll? Stella, baby. You're marking wedding anniversary with a man of Donald's status. You've never even made a post on social media. Who does that? She wants to tell me. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. You didn't listen to me. I said my husband says he doesn't want anything loud. So that's it. Nothing social media about it. Well, why is that? Like, what's the big deal in sharing vital information like that on social media? I don't get it. How am I supposed to have an answer to that? I have no answer to it. My husband says no social media. That's what it is. No social media. I stick to the rules of marriage. Rules? Ha! 
There's nobody near me with that rule, so. Ha. Because as far as Jesse is concerned, I will pepper them on social media, ready from Facebook, Instagram, mm. Twitter, TikTok, even Snapchat. Ha! I better go. We know you now. Yes. Take Nobody your drink. Nobody will drag the with mm. you, eh? It's yes. me. Enjoy it's yourself you. and wait for your social media. My God, you're not dragging. You can't. When is dad coming back? Your daddy should be back today or tomorrow. Alright? And his promise is coming with your gifts. Okay, mommy. Mm -hmm. It seems she's so fond of her daddy. Oh yeah, she is. You know, she's always very uncomfortable anytime her dad travels far. Yeah. Mm, it's just unfortunate that she's ill right now. Let me quickly take her to the room so that we'll rush to the supermarket to get the food item we talked about. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Because Jessica and Ijoma will soon be here, so we need to get all those things before they arrive. All right, mm -hmm. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Baby, baby, come. Yes, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. I'll see you when I return. I love you. I love you too, mommy. Yes, my darling. Mm -hmm. Stella, I think you have to calm down. Worrying won't change a thing right now. This is your day. And if the mood you are is not good for it, please, you just have to calm down. I don't understand. Jessica, why would you tell me this? Eh? Dono promised me that he was going to be here today. And now he's not here. The worst part of it is that he's not taking my calls and he's not been responding to my messages. To crown it all, he hasn't even reacted to all our social media posts. Like, why would Dono do that to me? Babe, you need to calm down, okay? The Dono I know loves you so much to deliberately want to hurt you. All right? Just calm down. I'm sure he will be back. Hmm? Babe, just chill, okay? Donald must have a tangible reason for this disappointment. Chima has even been calling, yet he isn't picking any call. Hmm? Please. If not, why would you just do this to me? This is completely unfair. Why would you do this to me? I put in time and resources to make this day happen. And now this. This is, this is, this is unfair. Yeah, okay. but you have to calm down. Hmm? It's your big day. Okay. Just be okay. fine, okay. Babe. Just be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheer up. your day. Cheer up, yeah, babe. Let me be it's your day. It's okay. Ah. Let me be. Sometimes you just let me think. Please. Right. Thanks. I can hear you, Chima. You know 
sure. His lines have been switched off since the last time I called. Okay. I will. Okay. Thank you. Good night. But mom, why has dad refused to come home? Baby, daddy has not refused to come home. All right, I think daddy is being held up with circumstances beyond his control. He will definitely come back home. Hmm? It's time to go to bed. Mom, I'm not feeling sleepy yet. I just want to see dad. Um, my love, it is late. You need to go to bed because you have an early start tomorrow. You have school runs to do. All right. So you go and sleep so you can wake up. I'm sure by the time you get back from school tomorrow, daddy would have returned. Okay, Don't you sleep us. Good girl. Don't nice. give mommy a good night back. Mm -hmm. This way. Mm -hmm. Good night, my love. All right. Nice. Okay. Yes, please. I'm Mrs. Stella Kunko. What? How? I have to calm down. Mm? At least for your sake and for the sake of the kids. Mm? <laughs> after my marriage, there's nothing anybody would tell me they are after my marriage. I mean, I need to rush to that hospital in Papa Koti SAP. Nicola said. Donald is in a very critical condition and he cannot speak to anyone. <laughs> At least he's still alive. Eh? That's something someone should be grateful to God for. Mm? You can't go to Port Harcourt alone. Not, not like this, Stella. You can just hold on till tomorrow morning so that we can go with Shima. Please, I beg you. <laughs> It's, it's just that this, this whole thing is very confusing, extremely confusing. <laughs> Donald told me that he was going to Lagos. How did he now end up in Pastor Court? How? I don't even understand this puzzle. I don't understand this. It's okay. That is not just relevant now. I think what you should be concerned about now is Donald's condition. Um, what about the kids? My sister-in-law went to pick them up from school. It's okay, but that is not relevant now. I think you just have to get a grip of yourself. Okay? No matter how hard it seems, the kids must not learn about it. Okay? Please, just be fine. Okay. All right? Yes. How can I say this? How can I explain this? Oh, my word is shallow. My word is cut Take a hold of yourself. Everything will be fine, okay? I feel so afraid. Just a few days ago, he left the house for a business trip in Lagos. Now, 
he's lying unconscious on a hospital bed. Who is out there to destroy my family? I'm, I mean, I'm just totally confused. Everything will be fine. I'm sure he'll be. He'll get back to life. So let's just be hopeful about it. Excuse me. The doctor is now on seat. You can see him now. said he was involved in an accident. Yes. You were told he was involved in an accident with no specification as regards to the kind of accident. In this case, however, your husband was a victim of domestic violence. As I speak to you now, the Nigerian police force is already on it. I'm sure they will soon be here. My goodness. My husband had no enemies to the best of my knowledge. I feel your informant gave you a distorted message. Because, I mean, Donald went on a business trip in Lagos. And that was it. Um, um. Doctor, please, tell us, how long will it take him to regain consciousness? Well, Mr. Donald will be needing at least three pints of blood because he lost a lot of blood and will further be recommended for surgical oppression. All this things needs to be done as quick as possible because any further delay I'd be dangerous. All right. Thank you, Doctor. I suppose you are um, Mrs. Stella Okonkwo, wife to Mr. Donald Okonkwo. Yes, I am. How may I help you? Well, um, I am Inspector Mike Odumodo. And my colleague here is Sergeant Paul Mr. Abunike. We are both from the CPS. And they probably lead investigative officers to your husband's case. Um, well, uh, officer, welcome. Uh, I, I happen to be Donald's very close friend. Yes, and we're here to understand what exactly is the problem. Um, not very really much. Uh, can we have a word with both of you outside? Okay. This way, please. Okay, this way. Thanks. Um, Mrs. Telokongo, do you by any means know this young lady? No, I don't think I've come across this face before. But what has this got to do with our discussion? Everything, madam. Everything. The young lady you saw here right now goes by the name Miss Bianca. She lives somewhere around Port Harcourt here. And an eyewitness account confirmed that your husband has been visiting her from time to time. <laughs> 
officer, please. I have had so much to deal with. I wouldn't want to add to it. Please, I beg you. Here, officer, we've had a very long day and it has never been favorable as such. Please, I need to have a clearer report of what happened to my friend, Donald. Please, what happened to him? You see, um, Mr. Donald was stabbed several times on his chest and stomach by one Mr. Douglas, otherwise known as Sherry. And from the eyewitness account we have, it confirmed that he wasn't the only person at the scene of the incident. And that Mr. Donald was stabbed inside Miss Bianca's residence. So as we speak now, the young lady is on the run because it is believed that she is an accomplice to the crime. Um, none of this is making sense to me at all. Absolutely none. First of all, my husband traveled for a business trip in Lagos. And secondly, I have never known my husband... This is Okonkwo. We suspect that your husband has been having an affair with Bianca. Shadow, who is our, is in our custody, confessed that he connived with Bianca to eliminate your husband for reasons yet to be ascertained. And for your information, your husband has been in Portacot for the past four days and not Lagos like, as, as you claimed. This is not true. This is... Well, madam, um, we are very sorry to have broken the hard news to you. But that notwithstanding, we will keep in touch while we we'll dig deeper in this investigation. Um, please, officer, please try your best, please. Eh? Yes. It's all right. It's all right. Um, officer Shabunik, I'll see you later. After all that I have been through with Donald, why would he pay me like this? Like, somebody just needs to wake me up. Someone needs to just tell me that this is a prank. This doesn't feel real at all. You just have to calm down there, okay? All we should do right now is ensuring that Donald is alive. His life is in great danger. So our utmost priority is to save him. I don't know what my priorities are anymore, honestly. I don't know because I am, I'm completely heartbroken. I'm, I need help. I understand your pain, Stella. Please, let us pray he stays alive so that he can tell his own part of the story. Chima, please tell me, how long has this been going on? I know that you were Donald's very close friend and you cannot tell me that this came to you like a complete shock. See, I'm equally puzzled. Yes, he's my best friend, but I didn't see this coming. Believe me, I know nothing about it. you do this to me? Where does it have to be now? You make me believe in true and unconditional love. You made me stand proud and tall in the midst of other women. Yet you chose to betray me this way. How cruel can you be? I thought you were different from the others. But I was mistaken. believe that I lived my entire life in deception. 
believing that love never lies. That I was wrong, after all. Have you been able to ascertain his present condition? I learned that he's yet to wake up or even speak to anyone. Angela told me that he is still unconscious. The last time Stella went to visit him at the hospital. Hi! It's okay. My name is Antito. My name is Yola It's okay. You don't have to give in to defeat. Don't and your son will be fine. Nothing will happen to him. I want to see my son, though. I want to see Donald, though, Rambo. Eh? Hey! I cannot see that he be assuming that everything will be okay. Eh? Hey! It's the way to go. Hey! Donald, Rambo. Why do not want to go? It's okay. Donald will be fine. Okay? Even if you wish to travel, there's no problem. I have to discuss it with my kinsmen. And after that, I will travel with you to Port Harcourt. You know, under this condition, there is no way you can travel alone. So, just calm down. Please. I'm trying to calm down, but it's my son. We're talking about that from me, Fudona. I know. Take me to Port Harcourt. We will go. We will go. Dona will be fine. Please. Mm. Please. Dona will be fine. My enemy is at work. It's okay. Hey. He will be fine. He will be fine. He will be fine. What will happen to him? What am I going to do? Oh, 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 Thank you, So bad, uh, Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I was actually going to your house to confirm what happened. Okay. My brother, the story is true. In fact, I'm just coming back from my sister's uh, in-law's house where we deliberated concerning the health of donors. Hi. My brother, donors' condition mm -hmm. is critical. It's critical. Hmm. Me ne do wa ono. Me ne do wa wo ono. Hmm. Asuka told me about this, but it's just that the the stories that I'm hearing, I'm not cleared. Uh, they said he had an accident. Uh, they said he was sick, and I was also told that he was attacked by arm robbers. I'm not just cleared. That was why I said, let me come and confirm from you. Well, my brother, you did well. Hi. The truth of the matter is that um, in the course of time, hmm, everything that is hidden will unfold. Hi. Donald. We will all know the truth because I am as confused as you are. Donald. But, Iche, what is most important right now is the health of Donald. That Donald will get well. Well, I want to go to my kinsmen. Let us go and dis deliberate and discuss. Let's know what we are going to do concerning the condition of Donado. Mm, so just keep me posted. Huh. Iche. Just keep me posted. Iche, the situation is critical. I will. I will, my brother. Donald. They will, my brother. No. Mm. Let it not be that what I'm hearing is the right thing. Oh, my 
like yours doing. Donald, how could you do this to me? Why did it have to be this way? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Stella. I didn't do this to deliberately hurt you. I couldn't stand you till the end. Donald. So it is true. I'm so sorry, Stella. It wasn't my wish. I was pressured into doing this. And I regretted my action the minute I gave in to it. I'm sorry I had to start another affair. I couldn't stand you. That is why I had to go far away. But, but, I need you to know that I regret my actions. I failed you. I failed our kids. But I need you to forgive me from the depth of your heart. For I know how hard it's going to be. I'm sorry. I know we shouldn't be talking about this right now. I, I don't know exactly how I feel towards you at the moment. I don't know if I should be angry, disappointed, or hurt. Sorry. You know what? Just I pray you get well first. I'm sorry, babe. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so, I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. How can I say this? How can I explain this? Oh, my word is shambled. My word is scattered. Oh, you have placed a hole in my heart. I feel so afraid. Hello, madam. You don't look all right. What is the matter? <sighs> See, whatever the problem is, please, you need to calm down. Okay? You need to let go. All right? I was betrayed and hurt by someone I loved so much. <laughs> I feel so empty and alone in this world right now. <laughs> Life in itself is meaningless to me. Hey, come on, madam. Don't say that. There's enough to live for. If only you can, we can open our heart. I don't know what this person might have done to you. But I want to urge you to please forgive. As long as he's willing to learn from his mistake, forgive. Lick your wounds and move on. Okay? <laughs> Do 
like you make it sound like it's very easy. It's not as easy as you think. It's not. I trusted and believed this person with all of me, everything. Yeah. Now I, I don't even know what to feel anymore. I love this person so much. It's, it's, it's difficult for me to get this hard feeling off my chest. It's okay, madam. This is the right time for you to be courageous enough to let go. Okay? You can't keep, you can't be like this. Alright? Forgive that person. You might be doing him also a great favor. Remember, this is the right time for you to challenge yourself by proving the level of love you have for this person. You can't, you can't be like this. Please, learn to let go, okay? Alright? Yes, you have to let go, okay? Alright? Stop crying. Cheer up, okay? I will need time to get over this feeling. I will need time. I know. I know. But this one, you have to let go now. You have to forgive him. They say time is all. Don't be like this, okay? All right? Fed, don't know. You should have just waited a little while before leaving. Nurse, Sir. put down the time. 12.45. I'm sorry, madam. Your story about what? Do your job and stop apologizing over nothing. I'm sorry. We lost him. Huh? Eh? Lost? 
Donald, come on, you. Donald, no, Donald, you cannot do this to me. Donald, Donald, hey, Donald, Donald. Madam, leave me alone, baby. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I've forgiven you. I beg you. Don't. Donald. I say this. How can I explain this? Oh, my word. Donald. Don't do this to you. Don't do this to me and your children. What is this? Donald. Um, <clears throat> I have discussed extensively with my kinsmen concerning the burial of our son, Donald, and we have decided that the burial will be in two weeks. We wouldn't want his remains to remain in the mortuary for a long time. Ichio Koyenta, I totally succumb to what you have just said because we need to hasten up the funeral rites of my late son. So that we begin to know the assets he left behind. I wouldn't like a situation whereby I will lose my only son and also lose his hard-earned wealth to some opportunists and gold diggers. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it's okay. Calm down. It's okay. Um, Stella, do you have anything to say? Uncle, I don't have anything to say. I will inform his friends and business associates that I know of. Um, Ichioko Yenta, Biko, I would like you to stress it here and now that nobody is leaving for the city immediately after my son's burial that we all have to sit back and check what and what my son left behind before he died <clears throat> well that is not uh, the important thing for now i think the most important thing is um, how to plan to give our brother our son a befitting burial that's not all uncle we need to follow up investigation as regards to the said woman that killed him okay. and why she killed her. I don't know why Mama is more concerned about Bodona's wealth when he has a wife and kids. Will you, yes, Lonnie, will you shut that to your mouth before I shut it for you? Why can you do a marry her? Eh? No, it's not your fault. If not because that your brother trained you in school, eh? By now you, are, you ought to have been married and uh, 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 just like your mates. All your mates are already married and they're all in their husband's houses. Before I'm talking about one, two, three, what do you do? More twins. And you're here jeopardizing my effort towards your own good. You marry her. Hey, Mama, please, it's an right for you. It's an right for me. Anything you are doing is for your own good. You are not doing Yes, she ever. You are so wrong. Yes, you are alone. Leave her Stella alone. Leave her Stella alone. Leave her 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 Show our um, uh, disease, so, so respect. 
told you time stop number to stay off my marriage. My wife and I are so young. There is still time to make me old kids. Hey, do not have a day, woman. Eh? This is my problem with you. You are not just mad at all. Have you forgotten that you are my only son? Okay. What happens if anything happens to you? All the wealth that you have been acquiring, what happens to them? What becomes of it? Eh? Donald, I'm only doing this for your own good. Can't you see? Mama, you're only being selfish here. Stella is a woman just like you. I can't believe you're, you're faulting her for not burying me milk kit. Mama, I'm sick and tired of this, your constant interference in my marriage. I'm tired of it. Donald, can't you see? Can, can you just understand your mother's plight? Eh? I know that you love your wife so dearly and cannot possibly divorce her. But um, I, I still have another idea. Mm. What idea is that? Hey, now you're talking. Hey, Bialo. Hey, Nabu. Hey, I know you have money. Hey, hey. Why don't you look for a very beautiful girl from this community? or even outside our community. Impregnate her, who knows, it, it, it might turn out for your own good. <laughs> Mama, yeah? I'm ashamed of you. Yeah? I said I am ashamed of you. How can you give your son, your own son, such ridiculous suggestion? Mama, you want me to have a broken home all because of your selfish need for grandson. Hey, bring your voice down now. What do you know? No, eh? Why are you screaming like a woman in labor? Mama, I don't care what you say. All right? But I want this to be the last time you bring up issues like this. The next time you do will be the last time you see me in this village. I'm done. Do not, do not, I'm not done talking to you. Hey, we're not done talking, no. Never mind, I'm only trying to do something good for my son. Babe. Babe. Oh. 
There you are. Um, why are you here all by yourself? What's going on? Are you all right? I had everything. <sighs> Mama now despises me so much. So, because of her quest for a male grandchild, she's encouraging you to go have extramarital affairs. Come here. Come. I'm sorry you heard all of that. I want you to get it off your head because that's the last thing I would ever consider. I love you, Stella. I love you so much. I don't love you because you're my wife. I love you because I can stop loving you. My mom was only bluffing. Because the only thing that can come between us is my death. So as long as I breathe, you are my lovely wedded wife. Until death do us part. I love you, baby. Okay? I love you too. <laughs> so much. <laughs> but you know, baby, on the second part, I wanted to suggest something to you. And um, what would that be? How about we adopt a male child, you know, from the... Don't, off don't go there. Don't even go there. How do you see a thing like that? <sighs> Have I ever loved you and our kids less? You know how much I cherish my family. I least expected this from you. <sighs> children are children, whether male or female. And I don't just have female kids, I have special female kids. Very special because they're very intelligent, very smart, and also very loving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being there for us always. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love you, okay? Me too. All right, come on, let's go inside. Hmm? My daughter. <clears throat> I can understand so many things are in your mind right now but for my sake and the sake of your children please let things go you know go Mama, if you ask me why i'm crying honestly i don't know i don't know why i'm crying am i crying because my husband is dead or oh, am I crying because of the disgraceful act that led to his death? Am I crying because Donna lied to me? Or oh, I'm crying because I loved him too much and I was too faithful that I didn't see all these things coming. I can't even say why Donald had to condescend to such a shameful act. Hmm? But infidelity in marriages is one pain commonly seen. 
but only covered where there is love. In your own case, Donald had to travel far off to see another woman. Mm -hmm. Many years ago, when you were little, I caught your father having extramarital affairs on countless occasions. Sometimes, he even brought his mistresses into our matrimonial bed. But I never left him. Do you know why? Your father loved and cherished you so much. Even when the king's men were unhappy that I couldn't bear him a male child, he was always remorseful. Each time I saw or heard stories of him cheating on me outside with other women. But isn't it possible to find men who can be faithful to their wives? It is very possible, but there are few. What you should be concerned of is as in building laws around your home. Ensure that you give him peace of mind. My daughter, let me tell you. It takes the grace of God to sustain a home these days where tales of divorce are too common. Yes. But Mama, when... When you're talking about building love around my home, I built my home with love. I did all those things. So when you say things like this, I, I don't know. I just feel completely stupid. I feel so stupid. No. <laughs> you are not stupid. But let's pray that his death doesn't stir much trouble subsequently. Pray very hard so that all you've worked for does not slip off just like that. <laughs> Pray. Please, stop crying. Please, please. It's okay. Come on, Mom. Just hand everything over to God. So, Stella, when do you plan coming down to the with the kids? Thanks for being alone, but I've been back a long time ago. Because my girls have already reached out when I'm in school. And their teachers are expressing serious concerns. But my, my mother in law is insisting that I stay back. I think she's afraid that if I go back to the city, I'll squander whatever wealth to not have left me. I don't understand. So if you don't, who will? I ain't you his wife. Are you not supposed to benefit from his words? They should be ashamed of themselves because he died on top of another woman. That's okay. Oh, just can be coming down. Are you here to console me, Frank? Or to ignite days of frustration? For you, John, let's be honest. What I said here, is it not true? Eh? Is it not true? See, Stella. It's high time you give them a piece of their own cake. Eh? What nonsense is this now? It's okay, just I'm still at you. Just, I don't want you to feel anything. Just be rest assured that everything is going to be fine. And if you need anything, do not hesitate to call me. Definitely, of course. If there's need for anything, I'll definitely reach out to both of them. But you two should help me thank Chima. Ah, Chima is more than just a good friend. He is family. If not for him, who would have been the one to follow up on the murderer's case, considering that the guy is still in police custody? But oh, wait, Do you know that men can be so shameless? See, that's the reason why I'm married to Kenneth. As his second wife, 
with the hope of getting my permits, I'll move to UK. Eh? With my hustle. I don't have time for love. Love is an illusion and men are scum. That's enough. Hey! Was that necessary? Oh, my dear, I think we'll have to be on our way so we can beat the traffic. Still trying to get a lead on the whereabouts of Miss Bianca. As it stands now, we have not been able to get any tangible information from the suspect under our custody. He claims that Miss Bianca ran away secretly without involving him. So as I speak, she's on the run with your husband's laptop, phones, and other valuables yet to be ascertained. Why did they kill my husband? Why did they kill my husband? That is my most important worry. Why? Well, um, we are equally trying to find out the same. But then, Shadow insists that Miss Bianca is the only one that can answer that. According to him, she plotted it all. Who is this strange woman that has decided to destroy my home? I wouldn't know, madam. And I, I don't know how you take this. But, but I think you deserve to know. Okay, all right. Tell me. What is it? Whatever it is, tell me. Was my husband having a business deal with her or is he owing her money? Um, not really. It's just that the suspect under our custody revealed to us that your late husband and this strange woman have been dating for over three years now. Yeah. Don't hurt. How could you be so cruel? Um, well, um, it's okay, madam. It, it's okay. It's okay. We will definitely get to the bottom of all this. But one thing I want to assure you is that justice must be served. Okay? for your trouble this morning, no. Hey! Your mother is now a troublemaker. Eh? Because I just asked a simple question so that I will know what my daughter-in-law is up to. Get out of the troublemaker, okay? No problem. So why are you wrong? Why do this mean to Auntie Stella? What has she done to you? Brother Donna died in the process of betraying her. You ought to be sympathizing with her, not the other way around. Will you shut up your mouth? Eh? Out of his sympathizing with another way around. Are you stupid? Eh? If Stella had not been giving your brother problems, would he have died in another woman's hands? Eh? Now call you to call. I asked you for the last time. Why do you hate Auntie Stella this much? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey! You are ashamed of small woman, Eh? Hey, hey, hey. No problem. Who's so bad you wrong? Very soon, you will know who will be feeding you in this house. It's either you go and get a profitable job for yourself, or you look for a reasonable man to marry you. Because this house will no longer concern both of us. When you call me, we'll be now. I'm talking and you're working out on me. Are you stupid? I'm talking and you're working out on me. Oh, we're not going to do this. It's you, Queen. 
I called you to express my displeasure over the news my daughter-in-law is making recently. Okay. Yeah. Earlier today, when I was coming back from morning mass, I just discovered that she traveled back to the city. All in the guys that she's going back there to, to follow up on the police keys. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, oh, I, I don't trust this woman. I don't really know what she's up to. And I hope that nobody has informed her about our plans. <coughs> because we cannot afford to lose out at this time. That is true. Uh, but, <coughs> what do you suggest we do? Okay. Uh, I think we should you know, do, plan some things to make her stay back in this village. We will stay for more time in this village yeah, so that by the time she will travel back to the city, I will follow her. Uh, okay. uh, but don't you think it will be too obvious? And it could not have her plans, you know? Besides, she has always told me that she wants to travel back to the city because of the education of her daughter. I don't want the whole world to feel that we are molesting her. <clears throat> Uncle, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mama, good afternoon. <laughs> Where are you going to? I want to go down the street to see a friend in the salon. Okay. Yeah. Salon. You're not going to see a friend in the salon. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go up. You better go and come back quickly so that you make dinner. You know that the madam of the house is not around. I beg you, Mama. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <clears throat> You see this my daughter. I don't trust her. Yeah? She's always out to, to, to jeopardize all my efforts. I don't even understand what this Stella is giving to her. Yeah? I don't even understand what Stella is. Oh Lord, don't be too agitated. Our plans are solid. She can never ruin our plans. Nobody can ruin our plans. Are you sure? I'm telling you. Nobody. Are you sure? She's too sweet. She's too she can nobody can know about it. Solid. She <laughs> says so solid. No, I trust solid. Her. Solid. Her. solid. <laughs> there is no need to her whereabouts. I don't know. But the officer only confirmed that she made away with Donald's valuables. And that they have been having an affair for over three years. Where do I go from here? I don't know if this cruel to me. Was I a bad wife or didn't I give him the peace of mind that he desired? You could use it to make him. You always been a good person, not only to Brodo, that wants to each and every one of us. You don't deserve any of this. Because we are always angry anytime Mama pesters you. Please, it's okay. Please. Thank you, Angela. You're welcome, Nancy. Please, you need to channel your whole energy to brother's world. Because I don't know what Mama and Uncle Koeda are up to. Please. I'm not too sure. But you need to go back to the city to take good assessment of brother's words before they will start making trouble with you. You know you have Lillian and Sylvia to take care of. And their responsibility lies with you, please. It's okay. I will do as you have said. 
I shall head to my mother's place to pick up my kids in preparation to head back to the boy. <laughs> Mama, I intend to go back to the boy tomorrow. We've been here for almost a month and my girls have been out of school for over two weeks. So I will go to my mother's place later in the evening to pick up the girls ahead of our journey tomorrow. Anyway, I know it has always been your desire to go back to the city for reasons best known to you. Okay, now what is just for my information. No problem. After all, you are doing housewife. And I cannot say anything to you or contribute anything to you. Mama, can't give me feelings. Is that all you have to say? Whichever one is, shut up your mouth. Am I talking to you? I want my own self. I can't wait to leave this house so that you stay alone and be making trouble with yourself. So grab the rock. I say this, how can I explain this? Oh, oh, my word is shattered. Mm -hmm. My word is scattered. Oh, you have pierced a hole in my heart. I feel so afraid. Every day I wake up So much pain in my heart You betrayed me no, no, no. Please, please, please. Uh, please come <clears throat> please, I need to talk with you Please Okay, I'll go See my daughter I know he was passing through a lot right now. But I need you to take things easy. Hmm? Years ago, when you were still a child, your mother passed almost the same experience in her marriage. But she stood her ground. No matter how tough it may seem, I urge you to be strong. Be strong for yourself. Be strong for your mother. And most importantly, for these your daughters. I'll come. Okay. It is not as easy as you think. I don't even know where to start from. I feel betrayed. I feel hurt. Even when Donald was alive, my mother-in-law swore that I would never have peace. Now that he's no more, what will be my fate? Well, this is more reason why I want to talk to you. Hmm? No matter any kind of issues, just be resilient. Be strong. Do not be intimidated by anybody. See, you are lawfully married to Donald. And everyone knows that. So no matter how tough it might seem, all I ask of you is, do not make troubles with him. Instead, do your best to protect all you and your late husband at Leopold Four. Hmm? It's all right, Uncle. It's all right. I, I've heard you. Thank you. You can go.
Ah, ah, ah. Mama, you're still bringing food items. What are you going to eat? My daughter, forget about me. Eh? I discovered that my granddaughters like it so much. So you can always be preparing it for them when you get back. Hey. Uh, mm. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ada Beke, make sure you look after your mother and your sisters. Are you hearing me? Nobody should give her a headache. In Anoka. Mm. Are you hearing me? Mm. Okay, Diana. Mm. Mama, I'm coming to see you. Mm -hmm. I will buy you a beautiful car. You will buy me a beautiful car. And I will be glad to drive the beautiful car. Eh? You want to make me a car owner? No problem. I will miss you too. <laughs> um, Stella. Mama. Remember what I told you. Hmm? Please try to forgive yourself and your husband so that you may heal faster. Mama. Always endeavor to take your supplications to God and pay less attention to Oloma and her aunties. You know now. Hmm? Become mom. Mm. 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 What are you going to buy for me next time? Biscuit. And I will eat the biscuit. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye You don't look cool. Is anything the problem? <sighs> Not really. I've been thinking. I've been thinking about the murder case involving Mr. Donald Okonkwo. Honestly, it baffles me to know that a lady could connive with somebody to kill a man who has done so much for her, even to the extent of betraying her own boyfriend, whom she committed the same atrocities with. Honestly, honestly, I am baffled. What if she's in a place where we never imagined she could be? A place where we never imagined she could be. And where could that be? So, you know, um, Bianca stays in Port Harcourt. Late Mr. Donald's family stays in Eboy. Maybe, maybe she could have an unfinished business in Eboy. Don't you think so? Um, I think you have a point there. Mm -hmm. We have tried tracking her number severally, but she seems to be too smart not to use those phones. <clears throat> I think we should focus our case now in the area we talked about. In fact, let me contact somebody over there. So how are your kids? 
They're fine. I thank God. I actually went to pick them up from school when your call came, so I had to drop them off at home before getting here. Yeah, thanks for coming by. You see, I just want to tell you I'm not too happy about the confusion that's about to set in. What confusion is that? I don't understand. Look, honestly speaking, I want to be sincere with you that I knew nothing about the extramarital affair Donald had. Sincerely speaking, if I had known, I would have stopped her. Believe me. Well, I hold nothing. I just want to clear myself. No, no, no. That's fine. I hold nothing against you. The truth is, Donald was an adult. He had a, an opportunity to make whatever decision he wanted, and he made his decision, and that's it. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah. It's okay, but um, I, please, I need one more favor from you, please. Favor? Yes. What could that be? You see, Joma, I want you to help me talk to her. She has shut me down. She has refused to listen to me, and I can't, I can't lose her for anything. Hmm. Look, I'm going sick already. Ah, uh, Chima. It's not going to be that easy. Do you know why? She waited and waited, expecting you to do the right thing, but you just kept on procrastinating and wasting her time. Now, see the way things turned out. With the twist of events, I mean, it is only natural for her to feel or reason the way that she's reasoning now. I can't guarantee you anything. I will try to talk to her, but no guarantees. Please just try. Like I said, I will. I'll try. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh. Can I drop you over? No, no, no. I packed him first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's about time I claim all that rightfully belongs to me. I have to do this now or never. I'm running out of time. Love Chima. But I'm scared. I think I need time to think over this again. Who on earth will believe that Chima has no knowledge of the fact that the best friend was having an extramarital affair? Who? Well, I still believe he has reasons not to know. First, if Chima knew that his friend was having an extramarital affair and he knew the girl before now, right? There is no way he would not have said it all along. Please, I don't want what will lead to pains and depression. I've had this dream of a happy, loving and fruitful marriage. Mm. Then stop dreaming and start living. I mean, it's not like Donald never loved me. Donald loved me so much. The only thing is that he betrayed the trust I had in him. And I know that if Donald were to be alive, he would do everything humanly possible to make up for this mess. 
Ja. Ja. What hurts me? It's not the fact that he cheated on me. My pain is... My pain is the way he left me. The way he left, the way he died. The way he... Oh, Stella, please don't start again. <sighs> please. Just be fine. Everything's going to be all right. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you? I'm nice. Auntie, you're still crying. I thought we've come past this. <laughs> I'm fine, Angela. Welcome back. Thank you. Let me quickly go in and make all her soup. Your favorite. Please stop crying. This is your sister in law is such a nice person. She is so good at heart. I'm telling you, a complete opposite of her mother. You can't say that again. So, how have you been getting along with this new job? Very stressful. But I'm gradually adapting. That's great to know. You know, I actually called you here so I can um, share my thoughts with you. You will take your time to think about it and um, let me know your response later. Okay, I'm all ears. Shortly before Donald uh, made the trip that led to his death, we were discussing about my business proposal, which he had promised to facilitate when he returns. Unfortunately, he did not come back. So, um, I intend to go to his shopping plaza tomorrow. Thereafter, I will go see his lawyer so we can have a discussion on how to start up a business for you that would be more promising and lucrative. Wow! Thank you, Auntie. Thank you. Come on, Angela. You and I know how tough the situation of the country is at the moment. And only a white collar job cannot give you the kind of life that you would want to live. You're smart. You are intelligent. You're disciplined. It would only be my pleasure to have you become a boss lady someday. And also settle down in the nearest future with a very God-fearing and hard-working man. I do not want you to make the same mistakes that I made, you know, by confining yourself to being just a housewife. Auntie, thank you for this initiative. Don't worry, things will soon get better. And I'm certain that the kids will grow up to make you a proud mother. <laughs> thank you so much. That's all I wanted to share with you. So I'll just sit here and take a little breeze. You can go. So happy right now. Let me go and check up on the kids. <laughs> but thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh. As if I I I I stole I stole the yam from from your bank. This yeah. one is even worse than selling from my yam bank. How? Hey, Ebunka. How do you mean? What don't you understand? Hey, Ichi Oko, you enter. Why are you pretending as if you don't know what I'm saying again? Uloma, what are you saying? What are you saying? 
Eh? Why are you pretending as if you don't know? Eh? You know, it's over six months we have been looking for this girl. Even the police is here to have a trace of her, and you're asking me. Nka Abogini. So, what do you want us to do? Nko Nanyo, are you asking me, Ulama, what we are supposed to do? Are you not the man here? Are you not supposed to profess solution to this? Solution? What solution? Eh? Ulama, what solution? After you have lured me into committing abomination, you are talking of solution? Eh? Ulama. We will have to wait patiently, patiently, and allow the police to do their job. Again. You are saying we have to wait. We will wait. That we are supposed to wait. Oh, yes. So, so you are not feeling less concerned <laughs> when you know exactly what is at stake. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to do something and very fast too. Ah, I can't do it. Do something? Yes. What do you want us to do? Listen, you can never lure me into committing more abomination. <laughs> it will not happen. Oh, my man. Eh? Ulo, oh, Uloma, please, please, Bakachi Neke, go home. Eh? Yes, go home. Are you telling me Uloma to go Uloma, home? Big hey, 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 is here. Look him as he go home. Uloma. Oh, but I have to buy him again. Oh, wait, he gave me. You have to be here with God for two hours. Oh, wait, he gave me. Don't worry. Who bad? Don't worry. Who bad? Two of us, you put one leg in this, your trouser. Who bad? This community will not enter two of us. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, you don't worry. You can't do anything. Look at mad woman. You, you want me to continue, continue to, 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 to commit a, a, abomination. It will not work. Barrister, I need you to come right away with a full copy of it. I need clarification on this whole drama. Come right away, please. Thank you. Barrister. You have been my husband's attorney since we got married. It is only right that when things take this shape, I should demand to see you. Oga, my down. This ogre, I tell him, he say, I be officer. Say, I went to see me, my dog. And I want to That's see okay. Me. That's okay. You can go. I'll take you up from okay. there. Make a job. Inspector, please. Have a seat. Thank you, madam. This is Inspector Mike. He's the officer in charge of Donald's mother case. Inspector. This is Barrister Charles, my husband's attorney. Oh, Barrister, you're welcome. Pleasure is all mine. Fair enough. You are all here, so I will just put the cards on the table. Um, Barrister, as I was saying, this afternoon, I went to my husband's shopping plaza to check up on the caretaker 
you know, ahead of the remittance of shop rents that usually comes through you. To my greatest shock, I was told that I do not have any access to anything pertaining to that property. I have never been embarrassed like that my entire life. I am Donald's legitimate wife. I need an explanation to that. <sighs> um, firstly, madam, I would love to apologize for the miscommunication that have transpired between us lately. But on the other hand, uh, I was actually acting based on your husband's instruction. Mm. Yes. What instructions? Um, your husband, Mr. Donald Okonkwo, instructed that his will be read nine to 12 months on the occasion of his death. But as he stands right now, due to the heat and the circumstances surrounding his death, I think I should just go ahead and uh, read out his will so everyone will know what's in there. As you all can see, this is the will. Still sealed. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and open. This will is prepared by me, Barrister Charles Chukwemeka Udoka, for my client, Mr. Donald Okonkwo. And I read, I, Mr. Donald Okonkwo, have wheeled my residential apartment in Ebony. My 15 plots located at Agu Boriga Estate, Abakaliki, my private car, as well as the cash sum of 30 million naira to my first wife, Mrs. Stella Okonkwo. I beg your pardon, barrister. My late brother was just married to only one wife, and that is Mrs. Stella Okonkwo. So what are you talking about? Uh, madam, if I can beg your pardon, please allow me to do my job. Um, barrister, you may wish to go ahead. Thank you, officer. <clears throat> I continue. My 200 by 200 plot located at Cooking Estate, Port Harcourt, as well as the cash sum of 10 million has been willed to my second wife, Mrs. Bianca Okonkwo. This is a rant nonsense. I, Angela, won't sit back here to attend this prank. What are you talking about? <clears throat> the shopping plaza, my two-story building in Apapa, Lagos, as well as the cash sum of 50 million, has been willed to Afame Funa Okonkwo, my first son. Finally, to my dearest wife, Stella Okonkwo, I beseech you to find a place in your heart to forgive me, as it was never intended to be this way. Situations beyond my control led to this. And going further, every other properties not mentioned here to go to. Unfortunate death. 
Eh? That's okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! You don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Very soon, you will understand. Do you think we don't know how you connect with your son to keep a stromital affair just because of your selfish interest to have a grandson? Eh? Today, you've gotten your wish and turned my daughter into a widow. Buloma. Oh, I swear, if anything happened to my daughter, Uloma, you must pay for it. Eh? How can you be so mean and wicked? Uloma, I cause the day we cause paths as in law. You're a wicked woman. To fear again. Uloma, to fear again. You don't have any enemy. You don't have any quickly. So bad the wrong. Yes, Doctor. Yeah, she's asleep right now. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Doctor. Do have a nice day. All right. Have a nice day. Chima, how about it's still very hot? Don't worry. Just spoke with your doctor. He says that the medication will stabilize her temperature in less than two hours. All she needs is a good rest. She'll be fine. Don't know. Who could have thought? Eh? How can a man go as far as wrecking a home everybody once admired and longed for? Look at Stella. If care is not taken, she'll fall into depression. Because this is too heavy for her to bear. It is just despicable. Honestly. Excuse me, Lenny. I have to take my leave. Ijoma, what do we do? I don't know. Just, just stay around or something. Baby, are you okay? Well, I can't possibly pretend to be fine with all that has happened lately. I feel sorry for Stella. I can't tell how long the wound in her will heal because the burden will be too much. I sincerely feel for her. Baby, I understand how you feel. But it's not your fault. Everyone knew how you played your role as a friend to Donald. Hmm? But I never believed that Donald could keep these secrets away from me, despite our childhood friendship. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do you know that I told Donald to adopt a male child? Mm. But he debunked. Mm. He preferred his three lovely daughters. Mm. But I can't imagine Donald could ever mm. mess up his marriage this way. Mm. <sighs> it's a pity. Very, very. Baby. Baby, I understand how you feel. But it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. My love. It matters. I believe you. You don't understand how much people will be thinking that I knew everything about him. Baby, it's okay. Just, just be fine. Okay. 
I understand how you're feeling. Just be okay. How can I say this? How can I explain this? Oh, my word is shambled. My word is scattered. Oh, you have pierced a hole in my heart. Mom, why are you crying all alone? Baby. It is late and you should be in bed. Right? Mommy is just here having a quiet time. I'm not going to bed. You said you come with me. <sighs> come here, baby. Come. Mommy loves you a whole lot. And mommy would always want to see you happy. So. Go to the bedroom. I'll come see you in the bedroom. Okay? Deal? Okay, mommy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good night, my love. I'll be right after you. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I came for us to rub my together over these issues. I think the best thing is for us to summon our daughter home and seek her opinion. Iche, hmm? I think uh, we have to refund what was paid on her head. Huh? And I, I can't let my only child pass through this hell. Hmm. I don't want to lose my child to depression. Hmm. Azoka, I understand how you feel. But I tell you, we must be careful and apply wisdom in resolving this matter. It is very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. Remember that the so-called uh, second wife is wanted by the police as an accomplice to murder. And our daughter still has children for Donaldo. I think we just need to weigh our options. I know the best way to go about all these things. But first, our daughter must come home. Chineke. Chineke is up to the you don't want to. Eh? You can't you can't just allow us Huh? Stella is my only hope in this world. I don't have them too. The only child I have. Oh. Huh? And that girl is still young to suffer all these things. My dear. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 You have to feed properly and rest well. I know you've been through turbulence experiences lately, but considering the kids, try, okay? To be well. Angela, make sure she takes her drugs as prescribed. Okay? You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll be going to the office now, but um, I'll be calling on you from time to time to check on you. To know how you're faring, okay? It's okay. Thank you so much. Okay. My regards to IJ. Don't worry. Sure, yeah. Take care. All right, thanks. Awesome. Now I didn't go to work today. I accompanied my sister in law to the hospital earlier today. Yeah, she's better now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Angela. Angela. Do you know that someone came into this house in our absence and ransacked my room? 
How do you mean? I mean we both left this house together. And besides, the gate man is there. That is exactly my worry. I don't know. God. Oh my God. God help me. What? My what kids. Is? My kids. Oh my God. Um, I need to call Chima so he can check up on them quickly before okay. he gets to work. Okay, let me go and find out from the gate man. I'm coming. Okay. Came in here. When you drop or you're sleeping as usual. I don't go and go anywhere. I don't go house. Say someone you will come and I don't nobody is a coin here. Only me is the double house. Nobody enter here. Me, I need to go anybody. You must be kidding. Do you want to tell me ghosts now operate in this compound? Come on, think! Okay. Okay. Madam, I remember. I will talk to my dad. I remember, I remember, I remember, I will tell you, okay, I know that woman where I die sell them for Akara, for that junction, that tea junction for there. So I will tell you, about in the morning, I go buy them for Akara for her place, because she's hungry, it's a catch on my dad. So I say, buy them for Akara. I want to say, I go play with it, for the school. Well, I tell you, because Chelsea and Wanyu, I don't play them for much today. You left a compound that was kept in your care just to go and play sports bets? What is wrong with these bastards? Well, I should have known I'm talking with a satisfied clown. Idiots. Well, I know you know for the English or what I talk. What well, make I know this for me while like no this, madam. I know what you and I know, madam. Stella, the police are on their way. Meanwhile, I've informed Inspector Mike about the development. But he advised he should move out of this place temporarily while his men are on guard, watching out on the culprit of not knowing who is exactly behind all this. Because we don't even know when they will strike again. Who is doing this to me? Huh? What did I do to deserve this? I didn't offend anyone. Not to worry. The storm will soon be over. Okay? Um, the police uh, have beefed up security in making sure that they resolve this situation on time. So uh, I spoke with Ijoma and she suggested you come over to my place temporarily while they resolve these issues. After all, the children's school are very close to where I stay. Um, that would not be necessary because my mother and uncle have um, asked me to come for a meeting. They summoned me for a meeting in the village with my in-laws. So my resolution is wherever I go, my children go there with me. Yes, I would rather die than watch anything happen to any one of them. Nothing will happen to any of them. Hmm? Um, there is security everywhere. Just be strong. Okay? Thank you so much, all right? Thank you so much, Cam. May God bless you. Thank you. Ah, oh, come on. Your family is my family. Just tell me when you're ready to travel. I, I can drop you off. That's so kind of you, sir. Thank you very much for everything you've been doing for this family. My pleasure. My pleasure, Angela. The pleasure is all mine, Angela. Can I have a, a minute of your time? I intend to go to the village tomorrow with the kids. So I have spoken to Chima and Ijoma, you know, for you to go over to their place and stay. They have accepted. 
You will be safe there. No, no, no. Auntie, everywhere you go, I go with you. I mean, this mess is not just yours, but everybody's. I feel so guilty that my brother put you in this pitiable condition today. You've been so faithful and respectful to my family, and you don't deserve any of this. Please, I am coming with you tomorrow, and don't persuade me not to. I beg of you, please. Nemesis has cut up with you. Shame on you. You fell in my wallet. No one is okay. It's okay. It's okay, Azuka. Let me take it from here. Um, <clears throat> my in-laws. We haven't come here for troubles. As you can see. We just want to make a clarification of whether or not you married a second wife for your son without the knowledge of his first wife and daughter. Hmm? You could blame us because I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry, you. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing it in the best interest of my son and his family. Because find a place in your heart to forgive me. It happened a few years ago. When Stella gave birth to, to her second daughter. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. This one that you're so <laughs> excited. <laughs> what is the good news? Oh, well, my guess now. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Guess. <laughs> <Nega drum. laughs> All right, Mama, I'll tell you. The good news is, my wife was. Yes, Mama. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hey. So much. Hi. I hope that um, this time it's a baby boy. Eh? Mama, you started. You've started this thing I hate about you now. Eh? Hey. Instead of asking me how my wife is doing, you're busy asking the gender of the child. What kind of thing is this now, Mama? Here. You can answer the question and stop educating me on, on how to be caring and affectionate. Well, if you must know. My wife just gave birth to a bouncing baby girl, and we're so happy about it. Clap mm. for yourself. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Just look at you. As grown as you are, you don't have sense. Hey, Chineke, Chineke, organic me. I would have placed this son of mine in a seminary school. So that he will become a reverend father. And what will never father come back? Instead of you getting married and still ending up closing your father's lineage. And I won't care again. What is the meaning of all this? Is that why you are here excited? Because don't tell me that thing again. Nonsense. Um, Donald. I suggest that you listen to what your mother is saying. I think your mother is right. <clears throat> Uncle, you too. Yes. How can you even say a thing like this? <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Donald, your father died few years after you and your sister were born. Mm -hmm. And it is because you are a male child. That is why 
your mother and yourself are benefiting from everything from this community today. The lands that you have in this community is as a result of the fact that you are a male child. Therefore, your mother also wants a male child from you who can inherit all these things according to the traditions of this community. And that is why I am in full support of what your mother is saying. I support her. So, Uncle, you're asking me to consider my mother's request of taking another wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't risk a chance of breaking my home. <laughs> this will hurt my wife so much. And I don't want this for her. I don't. <clears throat> Donut, if it's going to hurt her, let it hurt her. The truth of the matter is that you are a man. Use your tongue to count your teeth. After all, in the city where you came from, there are lots of beautiful girls, succulent girls, tall, short, black, white, fair, beautiful. You can just pick one from there. Bring that person here and then leave the rest in for us. Yes. You need a male child. That's the issue. Hey, it's your girl, Tadalu. It's not Thank you very much. I'm grateful. I really appreciate. Hey, Odo Bungam. Odo Odo Bungam, na mulaora. Odo. Afu di ba fogo no give ya. Na mu. Congratulations hey. once again. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, get it. Uh, we will get it. You got to go. Small, small <laughs> I will be a proud grandmother mm -hmm. of a grandson. <laughs> that what is go. it? Hey, Hey, so that you don't. Hey, we have the Amuma. We've got who played the Hey, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Donald, mm -hmm. you know, you have made me the happiest man today. And uh, I'm very, very sure that uh, in nine months' time, we'll be getting the good news. The good news, the good news, you know. <laughs> Odogu. <laughs> Uncle, there's a problem. Problem? Which is? Bianca is insisting we have a court wedding. After the stressful traditional marriage we have already. Court wedding? Yeah. That is not a big deal. That's not a big issue. I mean, you are equal to the task. All you have to do is to take it one after the other. That's how you overcome. Just take the situation one at a time. Uncle, I'm not comfortable with this arrangement. I'm not. Don't worry, my son. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Hmm? If she wants a court wedding, give it to her. There's something we are looking for. <laughs> oh, no go. There's something we are looking for. You understand? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I assure you. Hey, <laughs> 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 You are the true son of your father. Ma, please, can you allow me to think? Just allow me to think, please. Thank you, Kwan. What are you thinking about? You should be happy and excited. This is a prayer fully answered. On the contrary, Mama. This is the beginning of my family problems. I cannot allow Bianca to move into my house. I've been trying to avoid this. I've been trying so hard to avoid this. I can't, I can't do this to, 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 to Stella. I can't do it. I've hurt her so much. I've, I've betrayed her already. Eh? 
You're telling me. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I'll just move Bianca and the son into my newly furnished apartment. I'll be coming to see them there from time to time. Oh, Terrible. For, for, for how long do you intend to keep it this way? As long as time permits, Mama. As long as time permits. What do you want me to do? I, I, I can't face uh, Stella like this. I, I can't do this to her. No, this is too bad. I can't do this to Stella, please. Well, that's all we need to do. I'm not going to manage it in this way. Yeah. The most important thing is that I now have a grandson. Yeah. A grandson. So my husband's lineage will not close. Hey! Imela, Imela, hey, say Jesus. The Korean wagon to Paul, Imela, Imela. Hey! Mamma, 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 I am truly sorry, yo. I was waiting for the dress of my son and his family. I didn't know he to kill my son. Because, I, because, because, Nemo, my alone, because, because, I love, because, my alone. You must be out of your mind to mention that word, forgiveness here. You are so mean and irrational. Oloma, you are in disgrace to motherhood. I am disappointed in you. See how you just hurt in ushering my only daughter into widowhood. Chai. Mama Bolajat. Mama Bolajat. You don't ever know your mother. My mother has forgiven you. And then when you went to work again, I forgive Ness. No, 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 no. I have had enough of this abominable and unimaginable act. And I can't be part of this, your show of shame. Never! Be fear! <laughs> My kinsmen! You will hear from them very soon. And Azoka, let's go. There's Stella. You shall come back home where you are much needed. And if you wish to come with us now, you shall gladly wait for you. I will, I will need a little more time to think of what to do with my children. I will need a little more time. Um, it's okay if you say so. Uh, do not stay longer than necessary. You really hear me? It's okay, let's go. Sophia! Hey! Okay, I you have known you've never liked Auntie Stella. But never imagine you can go as far as encouraging your own son to have an extramarital affair at the expense of his life. Mama. You are so evil. Please forgive your mother. I thought I was doing it for the best interest of the family because... I don't want to hear that from your mouth. You and Oku Oku Yinta hid such an abominable secret from everyone, including Auntie Stella. Mama, I hate you. I hate you, Mama. You don't say that. Eh? You know you are the only one left for me in this world, because I don't want to hear that from you, Max. I am not your daughter. Besides, you have your grandson and a murderer as a daughter-in-law. Fine and good. You can now go on with them and enjoy Brodona's world. Please, leave me out of it. It's not true, my daughter. It's not true. Don't call me that again. I am not your daughter. You were so fortunate that God gave you an angel. In the name of daughter-in-law, a woman with a heart of gold. But you were so blind to see that because of your selfish interest. And you're calling me your daughter. Please, please, I am not. 
Please forgive me. Mama, leave you. Why not you leave me alone? Leave me alone, Mama. Leave me alone. Leave me. I don't love her more. She doesn't matter no more. I don't love her more. I. I thought I was doing something good. Oh. Hey. hey! How can I say this? How can I explain this? Oh, my word is shambled. My word is scattered. Oh, you have been. I hold in my heart I feel so afraid To oh. not You've pierced a hole in my heart I feel so afraid waking up every day Because each passing day seems to unveil painful secrets Lies, betrayals, and deceit. Heaven knows that I have never loved you less. I loved you so much, and I always will love you every day of my life. You left our kids with a big tale of shame to be told when they eventually grow up. <laughs> our home. It's finally broken and even still threatened by the one with whom you chose to betray me. <laughs> I've forgiven you because refusal to do so will only hurt me more. <laughs> I pray your soul finds forgiveness <laughs> wherever you may be. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? I never knew Your opposite of what I thought You are I can't believe You're this wicked But pretend to be innocent I love you with my heart Oh baby mom I love you with everything in me. Yeah, I came to inform you that uh, our kinsman has unanimously agreed that the bride price paid on her daughter's head shall be returned in the next eight market days. And uh, her continuous living there will bring more pain on her. And I also have spoken to my son, AJK, and he will heartily accepted to sponsor the education of donors' children. Mm. <laughs> my, may God bless you. Uh -uh. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I need more money. Oh, God, no money, no money. No money, no money. No money, no money. No money, no money. You love those people. Yeah. Yes. Well, um, let me ask also. I still are taking her decision. Because the last time we spoke, she was showing concern that she doesn't want to leave the marriage. Because, uh, according to her, it will affect the psychological upbringing of her children. But, what difference does it make? Donald is dead and gone. Mm -hmm. My, she keeps saying the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. However, she has agreed to come down with the children for a while. Mm -hmm. In that, fact, they are coming down this evening. Oh, this sounds great. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That is very good. My, Please, uh, uh, I prepared insala. Eh? Uh, let me insala? Mm -hmm. ah, my favorite. Yeah. But I have to run along. I have a meeting. You will miss it, though. Eh, I have a meeting. Very important. I'm already running late. So bad, Thank right. you so much. Mm -hmm. So when they come, uh, tell them that I... I'm greeting them. I will. <laughs> Thank you. I will. Darling. All right. Bye-bye.
to advise you. I think you should listen to your mother and move out with the kids. Like you ought to move on with your life. Jessica, you won't be too quick to say that. Like, what happened to the kids? Okay, leaving her marriage implies leaving all that she and Donald has ever worked for. You wouldn't do that if you were to be in her shoes. I think what we should be praying now is that police tracks this murderer who caused all of this. Me, I've said my own. Marriage is not do or die. After all, you don't accept, don't die. My dear, everything will be okay. All right? Chima told me that the police in charge of this case is making tremendous progress. Sooner than expected, that woman will be caught red-handed. Exactly my prayer. Like, I'm just praying God hears my cry. Because uh, the kids are becoming something else. My biggest problem is what to tell them each time they come up with all these questions. I don't know what to say to them. It's fine. We have to get going, right? You have to be strong.
Mom, we're never going back to our house. <sighs> I don't know. But sometime soon. You need to understand that this is also your house too. I have told you that severally. So get used to it. Mom, is it true that betrayed us? Daddy betrayed us? How? Where did you get that from? You need to get that out of your head, okay? But I miss that so much. Let me see too. I know I've failed you and your brother as a mother. But my dear, you can continue treating me this way. For over two days now, you have not even said a word to me. Let me go. Find a place in your heart and forgive your mother. You, you go. You want forgiveness. Anyways, what you are seeing is just a tip of the iceberg. As for your information, if you are looking for who to apologize to, channel that energy to Auntie Stella that you've never respected for a day. Your grandchildren you've never cherished. And your only son you misled to death. When you are done with all this, you can now come back so that we'll have a conversation like mother and daughter. My daughter, I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I would have rewritten all my wrongs. I regret all my past actions. We them. Forgive your mother so that the wounds of my heart can heal faster. No, enjoy the wounds you inflicted upon yourself. If you're looking for someone to talk to, go to my uncle, Uncle Oko Yenta. Your partner in crime, so that you both can devise another evil plan, like you've always done. Excuse me. Hey. I brought this upon myself. Hey, my only son. I lost my only son. Okay, Okay, take a look at you. For you. Now move it. Move it. Move it. This way. Move it. Move. Move, move, move. 
Mama, 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. When did this happen? All right, all right. Okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be there soon. Right away, I'm coming. I'm coming, all right. Okay. Oh my. You'll be there to see me. What is going on? Mama, they just caught her. Who? They caught the lady. The police are with her right now in my mother-in-law's place. Wait for me. I'm going with you. All right, Mama, hurry, hurry. Thank hurry. You. Mama, hurry, oh. And this fellow will be here. Well, um, we closed in on Mrs. Bianca here. Late last night while she was trying to break into late Mr. Donald's compound at a bunny state. We got a lead that a particular vehicle has been parading that vicinity in the daytime. So that is why we have decided to bring her here with your late husband's friend. Because according to her, she has a confession to make. Hi! I'm Eh? As pretty as you are, and yet you have the heart to coordinate all this evil. Mom will be obi obi tagging me. Afro jogging jog. Hey, calm down, ma. Just calm down. Let's hear out, okay? Speak, speak! It all started over five years ago when Donald and I met here in an event somewhere in Port Harcourt. He asked me out on the date and then I accepted. Eventually, we became more intimate after a few months. So, I insisted he tells me where our relationship is heading for. All right, fine. Fine. You see, the thing is, I have been married to my wife for some years now. And she has not been able to conceive and bear me a male child. And my mother, on the other hand, has been mounting pressure. But I do not want to succumb to the idea of adopting a child from the orphanage. Wait. Wait a minute, Donald. Are you trying to turn me to a baby mama? Uh, Why someone else enjoy the privilege of being your legal wife? No, no. I'll never do that. You would definitely be part of my family. My answer remains no. You must be so selfish to make such suggestion. Who does that? Wait a minute. Hope you are not nursing the idea for me to be your second wife. Because it won't work. Consider my request, Bianca. My mother loved you right from the moment she set her eyes on you. Understand my plight. We've come a long way now. We can't back out now. Please. I have to think about it. But that does not mean that I will accept because I don't want to be a toy to another woman. It's all right, fine. I'll let you think about it. It's fine. Come here. I cannot imagine being a baby mama to any man. Hell no. But then, Donald is very loving and well with it too. 
I have been working as a sales rep ever since I, co I completed my NYSC. But I'm able to live in a comfortable apartment because of him. He also promised to help me set up my, any business of my choice. God, this is an irresistible offer. I can't continue in this life of hardship. Maybe I should just consider his proposal. I mean, this is very good, very good. But on one condition. On what condition is that? I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You will come see my people on wedding talks. Subsequently, you will arrange a way and move into your house. As you want. Very well then. We have a deal. But. Moving into my house will only apply for what you're carrying as a new child. No problems. We have a deal. I should be going in now. I have no finished jobs, okay? You've been like this all day. You've not said a word to me. Can you at least tell me what the problem is? Or maybe you need more money for your business. What do you take me for? Oh, you think I'm a fool that you can toy with? Hey, babe, 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 calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Donald. You are a beast and a blunted liar. Hey, where's all that coming from? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Why are you calling me names? So you want to know what this is all about? Of course, yes, I want to know what this is Donald, all about. you told me in plain words that you will marry me and bring me in if I'm able to give birth to a song for you. And this is over three years. I gave birth to a son. Yet, you did not fulfill your promise. Babe, we had a court marriage. We also had a traditional wedding. What else do you want? Donald, what happened to me moving into your house? I told you that I won't be a second toy for anyone. You claim that I'm your wife, yet you were busy using me. I'm not using you. We talked about this before we started it. So why are you complaining? Donald. Is this why you've been like this? Get out. Leave now. I don't want to see you ever again. Go. Donald, I say you should go. You're asking me out I of the house. I don't want to see you ever again. It's alright, fine. I'll leave. Donna, 
Richard, what are you doing here? I told you that I don't ever want to see you here again. Calm down, all right? Calm down. Listen, I'm sorry for everything, okay? I'm sorry for not sticking to our agreement. I'm sorry for wronging you. You don't need to apologize for being who you are. A user and a liar. <sighs> After spending four good years with you, now this, do not. Tell me, which man is going to fall for my story? A single mother like me. I'm sorry, but it doesn't have to be this way. All right? You will definitely move into my house. All I need from you right now is patience. A little more time. And all of this will be sorted out. Patience. When you were making love to me in your desperate search for a male child, you never knew what patience was. <sighs> what is so difficult for you to grant this request? All right, fine, fine. I'll tell you. I love my wife so much, I just don't know how to face her right now. That's why I need time from you. Okay? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I see. So all this is all about how your wife will feel, right? Now, let me remind you. I am moving into your house on my own terms. <sighs> Bear it in mind that I won't be a second toy for anyone. So you have to choose between the both of us. And also, don't you ever think of coming to see your son again until my condition happens. Babe, babe, it doesn't have to be this way. All right, let, let's sort things out. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be this way. It's okay. Okay, please. You can go. You want me to go? Donald, please go. Can we at least talk about this? Do not. I said you should go. Thank you. Me? Think about it. I warned you. We wouldn't listen. Now you don't talk to baby mama. Two in one. Bring it on, Shadow. You have come here to really call me on taking a decision you have been benefited from. You have been enjoying all the money Donald sent to me, both the business and the upkeep. Yet you have the infantry to judge me. No, Mama. Not like that. Hmm? Calm down. I told you before, we will enter this man. We will run this man's streets and cash out. But you don't hear the for call. You don't see him now. If not because of his son, that man for don't jack my sins. Anyways, I'm exhausted. I'm tired of tolerating Donald. That's my baby. It's time for payback. That the game will turn around. By the time I'm done with Donald and his family, then they will come to terms with the reality of hell on earth. Huh? I think. So Shadow and I plan on eliminating Donald after I persuaded him to rewrite his will to include I and my son Afan. We carried out the plan successfully. Shadow stabbed Donald 
repeatedly on his chest when he slept. We had a lot to drink that night. I also deliberately set Shadow up by using Donat's phone to call the police. Because Shadow wanted us to get married. And he asked me to get rid of the child. Or I take him to the orphanage. According to him, he said he's not going to father another man's child. But on my own part, I can't part ways with my son. Hey, the mm. I am sorry for putting you through all this. Hey, do not build my life. And I vowed he pays at all costs. I discovered that he was so affectionate towards his family. And that made me to understand that I stand no chance with him. Please. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Because I know you were not part of this mess. In any way. I'm sorry. Well, 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 well. Um, it may interest every one of you here present to know that we've already filed a petition against her and her accomplice in the court. In a few weeks' time, we'll definitely be having the verdict. Sergeant! Sir! Take her away. Uh, please, um, move it. Let me join Sergeant. Move it. Move it. And his colleague. Move it. I'll give you an update from the move. court. Thank you, Jesus. It's okay. Please take it easy, okay? Yeah. Just take care of her, please, huh? Thank you. And then, Bob, Mama, it's okay. Thank God that the storm is now over. The cause is death of my storm. I want you to take very good care of yourself and my grandchildren. Oh, always remember to pray. Say your rosary every night and every morning. You know what? All right, Mama. I'll take care of the kids and myself. I'll always pray. You too. Take very good care of yourself. I certainly will. <laughs> Stella. You have not uh, given us any updates on the court's proceedings. Or oh, has she been sentenced to death by the firing squad? <laughs> 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 hey, Azuka. Mama, you have suddenly become a lawyer overnight. I want to know. Azuka. <laughs> anyway, the final verdict for the court case will be in two weeks' time. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, no problem. Eh? We will wait to hear the good news. Chai. Hey. I miss you more. 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 I
Come and start going. The, the, the security situation in the country now is too alarming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Stella, you know I am so happy for you. After all those hurdles and struggles, you still won. <laughs> My dear, I bless God. I also thank God for giving me friends like both of you who stood by me through it all, you know, through thick and thin. <laughs> Everything good for you, Stella. Everything. Thank you for the compliment. Aha, that reminds me. We should also celebrate our latest UK citizen. <laughs> I am blushing. Mm. You could imagine how happy I was when Kenneth told me that he has finally gotten the residence permit like you can hear I come. I know, right? <laughs> no problem. As long as you do not forget us. And I'm sure that every week now you'll be sending us to two thousand pounds. Yes, Steve, you chop me. <laughs> okay, girls, relax. Finally, last weekend, Chima and I went down to my village to see my people. So oh. finally, the jungle don't match up. Congratulations, baby girl. Happy. Finally. Oh. So in village, people don't live at I, I don't clear. <laughs> I don't clear like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was for celebration. Go and get to it. Go and get to it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mama, so we came to tell you that the court ruled in our favor. Mm. Bianca's ex-boyfriend was charged guilty for murder and sentenced to death by hanging. Then Bianca herself was charged for an accomplice to murder and she was asked to do life imprisonment. Mm. So I was permitted to have a um, final audience with Bianca concerning how to take care of our family for now here as my son. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Mama, we signed a pact in the presence of a lawyer and her stepbrother. So henceforth, I will be taking care of our family for now's upbringing and education. Yes. Mama, you know what that means now. Sylvia, Shoma, and Lilian now have a brother. Hey, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. you have a very large heart. My God will continue to bless you. Amen. Oh. See you. Let's go inside. <laughs> hey, Mambo. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. He likes to chew, chew, chew. I think I have some big teeth. I'm so fond. 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 I'm so his family is number one. What a caring, a lovely father. Very unique. Whoa. He carries everybody along. Whoa. Wife and children love, but pressure is too much. He 
Cause your husband likes no other The father like no other One in a million So lovely and caring Cause your husband likes no other The father like no other One in a million So lovely and caring Waiting I want to No be waiting you want to my family no they can play oh. Waiting I want to I'll be waiting you want to It's my family no they can play oh. Waiting I want to I'll be waiting you want to It's my family no they can play oh.